Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. What an exciting, amazing show. I'm Michelle Ferreri. I'm Michelle Nelson. And this is the one, the only, Dawn Frost. And can we call her Lady Gaga? Well, I, I titled it Flowers for Fish because, of the, because of the fish and the flowers here. The fish and the flowers. Now, yeah. this is one of your many sculptures. Do you have a number of how many sculptures you've done? Oh, hundreds. 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 Yeah. Now, you may know Dawn's work publicly because of the beautiful cross out front of Holy Cross, that gorgeous steel mm -hmm. one. That's, yeah, that's one of them. That's one of them, yeah. right? It's 24 feet? Yeah. Uh, 20 feet. Yeah, 20 stainless feet. Steel. Yeah. Stainless steel. Now, this one, what's it made out of? Uh, this is uh, fiberglass, uh, raw, raw fiberglass in the, uh, the hair, actually, which means uh, there's no resin on it yet. But uh, if you put a uh, polyester resin on this, it actually goes as hard as a uh, canoe. Really? And so, uh, yeah, light, lightweight, very strong. How long did it take you to make this? Oh, I tinkered with this probably for a couple of months, just adding more and adding more. Wow. But it was, uh, it was kind of a fun project. If you're working on something like more serious, then you come back to this and just play, and it's sort of a, you know, a psychological break. Right. You know, so My favorite part on this, without a doubt, is that foot. Look at how perfect that foot is. She actually has a foot of what I wish my foot looked like. It's so nice. So there's so much <laughs> detail in here. Can you go through we, the, the mouse? <laughs> and everybody looks at my foot. Yeah. The mouse orchestra. Yeah, she's the, uh, well, she, she's actually being, she's being swallowed by a porpoise here, which is you know, like, okay. Oh, fine. I didn't even see that. Oh, there's so many things. There's so many parts to this. Now, did you draw this before oh, you? No. Oh, no, you just play. You just, you just, it's, it just goes. It just happens. <laughs> I'm not Look at Mich <laughs> Michelle and I are like, what? We're trying to, we'll try to get into Don's brain before the end of the show. I, I'm not in control of this. This is your home where we are, beautiful Lakefield. I mean, you say there's an old country song, deep in the heart of Texas. And I feel like this is deep in the heart of Lakefield to come in here and just be amazed. This table you've made, everything in here except the furniture you've yeah, made, yeah. the stairs, the sculptures. When did you start, Don Frost? Well, um... As I was saying earlier, I, I um, won my first award when I was six years old in uh, grade one. And uh, that sort of cast the die, and I've been a sculptor and artist ever since. Parents, so. finger painting. That's what he wanted, <laughs> finger painting. And this is and, what and your child will be. Too. Are you really? <laughs> I'm shade blind. So I have no idea how I won that. But I, I got a dollar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. Kind of okay, cool. there is, you're going to see foam that grows, what, 45 times yeah, 45 today? Times Unbelievable. Expansion. You're going to see amazing works of art that the National Art Gallery, right? Well, we, we're uh, applying right now. It's in the final stages of uh, uh, show and purchase, or just show or just purchase. We're not sure which yet. So they might uh, actually acquire one of these things, and which he, would be great. I mean, he belongs be a real to title. us. See, the 5 <laughs> o'clock show is here with Don Frost. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Well, Don and I have gotten close. We're having a bath together with our clothes on. Uh, stunning home and this house, this tub you made, it is made out of? It's uh, fiberglass again. That's my favorite medium. And how do you get this color through it? Uh, it's just an additive. Um, it's actually uh, an automotive additive. The, the pearl is. Uh, same as the sink. I tried to match the sink with, with the tub. So it's just, it's, it's like basically you're standing in, on the inside of a canoe. Um, it's all structured, uh, multi-layers multi of uh, fiberglass. One of the questions I had for Don and uh, many artists, especially as talented as you, you make all of these gorgeous works of art and you spend so much time and effort on them. When is it, okay, I'm not going to sell this. And you only have one piece. Yeah, I've only kept one piece. Can yeah. you show it to us? Sure. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was sort of a spiritual thing that I felt that, you know, it's how life is, how many things happen. That uh, we're all born innocent and... and hopefully remain innocent, but then uh, things can happen. And what I, what I meant is, uh, as a uh, comment in this is that the, uh, the innocence needs to be protected. And uh, so this is the other side of everybody's personality. That, uh, yeah. So I'm not different. No, 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 you're totally I, I'm totally yeah, normal yeah. to have those feelings, Don. <laughs> this is, this is called example. Adam. Yeah, exactly. And he, Adam. And, and you it's made like the beginning, the, the essence of I everything. Get it. That's how we all start. 30 years ago, you yeah. made this guy? Yeah. And he's bronze. It's bronze, yeah. It's very, yeah, bronze. very heavy. Okay, let's go out to your workshop. See, this is Michelle on a good day. <laughs> and this is Michelle on a not so good day. Honestly, we are gonna get to the workshop, I promise. It's just really hard to get out of this house because every corner we turn, it's incredible. Don, I stopped because I was just mesmerized by this as I am with every other piece of art you've created. Explain this one. Uh, it's just a relief sculpture, uh, multi-textured, but uh what, uh, what always troubled me about uh, having a sculpture like this mounted statically on the wall, it had to remain that way. 
And so I created a specific bracket for the back of this, which is like an envelope inside an envelope. So this would go on the wall. This is on the back of the sculpture. So this actually slides inside of that so the whole thing can rotate. So for just excitement's sake, for fun's sake, to change your sculpture, you can actually give it a little turn every day. And you have a different view of the same piece, which should be good art. I mean, it shouldn't be uh, just like one side or one look. Three-dimensional art is three-dimensional. You should be able to move it around. Okay, there's so much more to come here from Lakefield. Who knew? Who knew we were with genius Don Frost, and this was happening in Lakefield? Who knew? Well, now you do on the 5 o'clock show. Stay with us. More to come. And this is also ahead right after the break. Say hello to Steve. Don Frost, how long did it take you to Two. create or think of Steve? Oh, it was kind of instant. Um, I've been doing stuff like this, like the, the, the fins, I've uh, been uh, using that fiberglass technique to uh, human hair, like uh, doing underwater scene for, for quite some time. And so this was sort of a natural progression to make uh, a type of fish. And he is uh, made out of? Fiberglass. Yeah, again, fiberglass. all fiberglass. Now, earlier you put this on my hand, which is, what is what? Uh, it's pearl additive to, um, uh, it's an automotive additive to, uh, to paint as a top coat. And so if you see uh, different cars around, uh, the Cadillacs are, are perfect for that. You see this really beautiful opalescent mm -hmm. finish on them. That's what they add. And is this on Steve? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Steve is Seuss inspired, Dr. Seuss inspired? Yeah, sort of, kind of. Sort um, of actually, kinda? it sort of turned around the other way that I, uh, I made this and then uh, sent a picture to the gallery that I'm dealing with in Austin. And uh, they are the, uh, the biggest distributor of uh, Dr. Seuss's stuff in North America. And so he suggested that I get a hold of them. And then he finally got a hold of the Dr. Seuss people in, in Chicago and uh, suggested that they come down and talk to me to, to do some sort of a commemorative uh, Dr. Seuss piece. And so we're still waiting to hear from them this month. Very so cool. Will you keep us posted? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <gasps> So it should be kind of, kind of so fun. So you're in the midst of also being considered for the National Art Gallery as well, uh, right? We, uh, we, uh, a friend of mine made a pre uh, presentation to the National Gallery, so we're just waiting to, to hear back. Which is in Ottawa. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have a doubt There's, at all, my friend. So this is going to be fish sticks. Uh, well, if I put the head of the fish on here, I took a tree branch, and I thought of, uh, like, again, as sort of a Dr. Seuss kind of thing, and I thought of doing a series uh, that you just titled Fish Sticks. And so you could have a family of fish sticks, <laughs> just a single fish stick. And then will you put sort of the body fill over top of no, this No, 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 I, I was going to leave the tree branch like raw oh. and, and then just finish off the tail. But this, this is un, untreated fiber. This is fiberglass here. And so you add a, a, a um, polyester resin to this and it goes rock hard like that. So this is, you know, like very, oh. very, very strong stuff. And but, this is? Uh, that's just a, a, a turtle head that I was working with. And this is body fill. That's all body fill. Like yeah, auto, auto, auto body yeah. fill. Yes. Which I learned what is today. It's an I industrial know. product for actually filling dents and whatnot and um, all kinds of different cars. When did you first start working with it? Oh, years and years ago. I don't know how many years ago. Uh, the so fiberglass, 19, body fill. I did the sculpture in Peterborough Square in 1975. And that's been... That's, fire, that's yours? Yeah. The people? Yeah, the three people. Yeah. See? Do you see? Who knew? Okay, stay with us. So We're anyway. going inside. Don. Okay. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. There's more to come on the 5 o'clock show. In the studio of Don Frost now, and you're doing what, Don? Um, I'm about to mix up some more foam for a demonstration here. That's not maple syrup? No. It is? This is um, part A of a two-part mixture of uh, pour-in-place uh, urethane foam. So we have 155 grams here, so I need an equal 155 grams. You've got to be quick at math. 310 grams is what I'm looking for now. And uh, then this will take uh, a matter of very few moments to start expanding. This will actually expand 45 times. It's, um, it's a low density foam. There's, there's different densities that you can get that have many different uh, industrial purposes. Uh, and this industrial purpose would be what? Uh, flotation in boats, uh, canoes, uh, because of the high expansion. Uh, it, it, it doesn't need to be particularly rigid. But uh, the interesting thing is it's totally chemical resistant. And so you can, that's why I like it, because you can carve this and put fiberglass right over top of it. And well, uh, you it can go. see it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> look at kids. This is biology right here. Chemistry, biology, 101. Science at its finest. How many projects are you currently working on within your shop, Don? Oh, 
20 maybe? Yeah, you do yeah. work on quite a few at a oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And do you ever so, feel uninspired? Never. <laughs> no, never. I don't, it's not a possibility. Like this, this, this shape right here can turn into so many things. Did you have that? Uh, did you do that with a shape in mind? No, 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 no. You, just That's a, you, you just sort of let it happen. And I mean, it's, this sounds like such a cliche to you know, let it happen, let the inner you come out. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, but I, it's sort of true. You just play. You literally play. You, you take what you get and you, you play with what you get. Like this is the artist winning over the material, like uh, just uh, to a beautiful level, as opposed to working with a piece of stone or something that you just—it's like a Spartan conquest where you have to beat the thing up. <laughs> there's there's no beating this up. It's very forgiving. It's, we just have to get it off the plastic, which is half the battle. It's sticky. I see that. Which is which is you know, good because when you you know you pour this into a boat. You want it to stay. So then you take this and you, you like the basic shape. Right. So then work with that basic shape and start creating now. How are you going to hold it in that basic oh, it, shape? It'll be this way in, in about a minute. It just hardens this way. You know, it's very close to being there now. It just sets up that way. Yeah, so there's a little bit of fine tuning to be done, but then uh, just take a saw, sharp knife. I mean, this is, to work with this stuff, it's kind of like taking an atomic bomb to butter. <laughs> it's just, it's so easy to work with. And when did you kind of say, hey, you know what, I bet, I bet working with that stuff in boats would be cool. Well, that's, what, that's how I got into this, was a, a friend's father had a uh, houseboat, um, aluminum pontoons. He punched a hole in one of the pontoons, found out about this urethane foam and asked me to fill the pontoons. And I had no idea what I was working with. Got some of the stuff and filled the pontoons for him and there were some left over. And so that began my foam career in playing. My foam career. Also found out that at that point in time that uh, it's uh, totally chemical resistant. And so anything that I had on my hands from doing this project, I had to carve off with a knife. I wore gloves from then on, gloves. <laughs> That's why I haven't touched it. So that's, you know, there's, there's basically your shape right there. So, like with that, you Ooh, can... that looks like a serpent. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you could, as easy as that, or, you it know. looks like a cobra, see, yeah. see? <laughs> <laughs> no photo, no preconceived notions, just start cutting. Yeah, and sometimes, like, the, the piece that you cut out is as much fun as, like, that's kind of an interesting shape. So, again, drama in mind. It's just kind of a fun shape. And so like a little refining of that, and you'd actually have a fairly interesting sculpture. You know, that you, can, you can twist and I'd move around. I'd even drop the fairly, and yeah. I'd say an interesting I sculpture. Mean, so this could be a maquette. I mean, this, this would be uh, like a, a, a maquette, say, a small model for a larger piece, you know, if, if you like the shape. And so this could be you know, 10 feet high, 20 feet high. <laughs> Don Frost, thank this you so much. We anxiously await to hear when your beautiful works of art are in the National Art Gallery. Um, I'm sure they will I hope. Be. Keep they your fingers will. crossed. They will be. There's no doubt in my oh, mind that'd be whatsoever. Neat. You are very talented, and we're so proud to have you a part of our community. Oh, thank you very keep much. Keep up your great work. And we can't hear, wait to hear about Steve, the fish. <laughs> yeah, keep <laughs> us posted. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Keep us posted. Thank you so much. Don Frost, keep it up. Thank you.